Hi there and welcome to our channel where we keep you up to date on the latest technology trends and innovations. Today we are going to talk about the next generation of wireless connectivity, the much anticipated 6G technology and how other countries are playing a more significant role in creating standards for its development. Last Friday, the White House met with business leaders, government officials and academics to discuss the future of wireless connectivity. The US is concerned that other countries are already making strides towards 6G technology and it's only a matter of time before they take the lead in shaping its future. A recent report from Taiwan's CN Beta has given the US more reasons to be concerned. According to the 25th Institute of the Second Academy of China Aerospace Science and Industry, a successful wireless transmission was made for the first time at a terahertz frequency level, and it was conducted at a data speed of 100 gigabits per second. To put this in context, consumers in the US would be aesthetic with a 5G signal running at 1 gigabits per second. Mid-band 5G signal can range from 100 megabits per second to 900, but most often it delivers 5G download speeds in the range of 450 to 500 megabits per second. But using terahertz frequency presents the same issue that carriers have had to deal with with setting up 5G connectivity in the MM wave band. First, terahertz signals do not travel long distances and have trouble penetrating cloud and fog. On the other hand, terahertz communication allow wireless transmission to be almost as good as transmissions made over fiber. The report states that terahertz, with its larger transmission bandwidth and faster transmission speeds, is becoming one of the most important technologies when discussing 6G. While 6G is not expected to launch before 2030, although South Korea hopes to beat that by two years, 6G wireless should produce download speed up to 100 times 5G rates. This will lead to faster downloads and upload speeds for smartphone users and should lead to incredible new services in the entertainment, automobile, healthcare industries and others. Currently, US wireless carriers offer service over low band that is 600, 700 and 850 MHz, mid band that is 1 GHz to 6 GHz, and high band that is 24 GHz to 40 GHz. But with 6G technology, we can expect even more high band frequencies to be used. Some services that were supposed to launch with 5G such as self-driving cars, remote surgery and smart cities will undoubtedly be possible with the faster speeds that comes with 6G technology. But the question is, which country will lead the way in molding this technology with its innovation? With China already conducting successful wireless transmissions at terahertz frequency levels, they might be one of the countries leading the race towards 6G technology. However, the US is not far behind and there is still time to catch up. So what are your thoughts on 6G technology and which countries do you think will lead the way in its development? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting tech updates. Thank you for watching and catch you in the next one.